Hey, extensive tech or uh, YouTube is extensive tactical back here again with another EDC. Well, this one's not going to be an EDC video, but I'm back with the video. This one's going to be on my current bag. Uh, so here it is. Um, we're going to get into it uh, here. Sorry, I have it uploaded. Um, I'm in Texas right now for the army. So, yes, those of you that don't know, I'm in the United States Army, active duty. Um, so we're going to go over the bag uh, I carry here on base and uh, go from there. All right, so condor bag, right? So let me flip you around here so you can see right here. Of course, got my deployment flag, right? Infrared night vision flag. This This pocket, though. We're gonna get into first. Okay, I got some papers in there that's just trash. My US Army patch from boot camp. You get that when you complete basic. My Oakley's, right? And my uh, headphones. And then I've got a little P38 can opener. Okay, so got that. All right, that's all good stuff. Um, I'm not always gonna unpack this uh, with, or I'm not gonna unpack every pocket, but I am gonna unpack a few of them. All right, this one right here, I've got a flashlight here, and then on the outside, paracord bracelet, right? So I've got charging cable, portable charger. In there is a medical kit. I've got a uh, glow stick, I've got gloves, and then a balacava right there. So, uh, gloves are tactical gloves, so hot, cold weather, they work both. The balacavas for cold weather. So, I do have some cold weather stuff implemented into this bag. Okay, the bigger compartment, this is not the main compartment. <laughs> Um, got my beanie, right? So, here's my beanie. Here, tan beanie. And then I've got a book slash binder with my name on it, all right? Then I've got a gator neck with an extra knife and a Sharpie in there, as you can see, all right? So, that's that pocket for you guys. Uh, that's what I've got in that pocket, mostly. Um, and this bag goes with me every day. I don't ever leave without this bag. Um, I've got two, two different bags. Uh, my other one does, isn't set up with actual gear that's helpful. It's just got a bunch of stuff in it because I moved to Texas not too long ago from uh, Missouri, Fort Leonard Wood. All right. So, flip you back around here. In there, I've got some patches with concrete seal and then some batteries for the flashlight I wear on my belt. Cooking kit, this is the Pathfinder Dave, or Finders Dave Canaberry cook set, right? And then I've got a silk top. We get issued those, silk bottom. Got issued those, a, a, a freaking a, a schmog. My issued uh, Gore-Tex. Right, and then again, like I said, the cook set. I've got fire starting gear in there, with which is a mini inferno. I've got a pot hanger for the cup, a spork, and then a fire still right there. Right, and then in here, I've got a little pot stand to raise the pot up out of the ashes and uh, stuff like that. So when I'm cooking, it's not all it, it's not all in the ashes and everything, right? So I got this loaded down in this other pocket behind this stuff right here, right? 
a guy. A notebook, which is right in the room in between the block bags. Alright, so that's what I got in there. Um, put this stuff back in here real quick. So, yes, again, this bag does go everywhere with me for a good reason. Um, I mean, I all I will say is I I know it pays to be prepared. Um, in the army, uh, you have stuff that civilians can't get. Uh, in any branch of the military, really, that you can put in your bag, and it's helpful. So I take advantage of that whenever I can. All right. Bags themselves, people can't get. So, got that. And then we'll go over what's on my person. So, the knife I've been carrying is a K bar bullpup. I carry my wallet. That's uh, got my military ID and stuff in it, right? The uh, RFID block is big. And then my flashlight, which stays on my belt in this little case. So, that's what I've been carrying. I don't carry a whole lot uh, right now. I will be carrying more, most of my stuff still at the house. I'm going home for Christmas, so I'll be picking up uh, my multi-tool, a better knife than uh, what I've got right now, and I will be picking up some uh, my medic kit, um, stuff like that. That ha I got in basic clothes, of course, and then. I've got my dog tags and my cross necklace, okay? Um, I've got, I mean, as far as EDC, yeah, that can be counted as EDC. It's with me every day. Um, watch, of course, right now. I've got the Sunto Core I wear every day. And I switch it out with the G-Shock, right? My jacket I wear whenever I'm not on duty. And then, of course, when I am, you've got your uniform, which is OCP top. You can see the patches on it. U.S. Army, right? Name, flag, all that stuff, right? And then pants and a tan t-shirt and then boots of course so and then I also carry as something to just mess with a challenge coin and that's it or also chapstick so that's it guys that's what I carry that's what's in my book out bag things will change uh, because I keep getting stuff, so, anyway, uh, I'll go over my body armor set, uh, whenever I go home, I've got new body armor at home with a, uh, setup, full setup, so I'll go over my full setup of that, uh, when I get home for Christmas, uh, anyway, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, stay prepared. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, pass this video on, share my videos with other people. Uh, do what you can, get people on here, let them know. Uh, because people are actually going to have to start prepping, okay? And I'll say why. Biden won the uh, presidential election, apparently. Me personally, I'm not fond of that. Um, they are coming to take everyone's guns, from what I've heard. 
um, AR-15s, which I don't think is good because people are used to having them because we've been able to have them for so long. As Black Scout Survival on YouTube has also said, uh, he was in the Marine Corps, fellow military person. Um, anyway... So share 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 these videos I make with people because it does pay to be prepared because you never know what's going to happen when you're going to need those things, right? Um, preparedness isn't just taking off into the woods and being out there for multiple days. You could have to survive in a city which is called urban survival, right? So you could also have to survive out in the wilderness, the wilderness survival. You could have to survive staying in, in your house. It's a multiple things, okay guys? So there's multiple things that go on to where you might have to survive, all right? Anyway, again, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, stay prepared. Thanks for watching. God bless.